is poppin', boys, girls, and everyone in between and otherwise. My name's Adrienne, welcome back to Life Hates Adrienne. It's been like a hot minute since I made and posted a video. Also, thank you so much for what is now, I think, 470 subscribers. That was crazy. Yeah, thank you so much for being here and coming back and watching this chaos. Oh, and yes, I'm fully aware, my hair's in a bun. This, this doesn't happen very often. I quite like it. Does it hurt? Yeah. Can I do it myself? No. Nope. Yeah, anyways, um, I don't know if you all know this, but about a week or two ago, there was um, National Coming Out Day, and I personally am a homosexual. Uh, yeah, you all know this. This is not a surprise. And if you don't, here is my coming out video. Here? Here? Where? Somewhere up there. Uh, but yeah, and I thought that I would answer any LGBT related questions because, you know, the key to fighting ignorance is education. And boy, are we in need of some education right now. So as I will always do, I posted on my story on Instagram that I want you guys to send me any LGBT related questions. So if you ever want to be a part of this Q&A or Q and gay, ha, but um, follow my Instagram. It's in the description box below along with all my other social medias. And my TikTok. I did the sinful and I made a TikTok. I'm so sorry. But yeah, let me go through uh, some LGBT related questions. Oh, this is, a, this is a fun one to start with. Do you ever get tired of shoving your sexuality down people's throats? Um, no. Granted, I'm sure it feels a hell of a lot better than that stick up your ass. How should I come out to my homophobic parents? Now, I get this one. I get this one as if I get so many questions like this. No, but more than anything, I often get like, how do I come out to my homophobic friends? How do I come out to my homophobic parents? Here is the thing. I would always tell someone to own who they are, to love who they are and to support who they are. However, if it's not safe, I don't recommend doing it. And it's not that I don't believe you should love yourself and tell people who you feel safe with. But if your parents are so homophobic that they might kick you out, I personally don't recommend it. Granted, it's not my decision, so if you want to, do it. I highly recommend that you just do it calmly, openly, and honestly, and if you feel comfortable, and if another person feels comfortable, bring someone else who knows, so maybe a friend, a teacher, another trusted adult, or just anybody you know that already knows that you're not straight. That way, if anything is said and you need to leave or anything like that, you have that person there to help you. And it's a scary thing. I mean, it's scary for me and my mom's not homophobic. So I can only imagine what somebody who knows their parents are homophobic would be going through. Sit them down, say it calmly, say it plainly, and hopefully they come around to it. And if they don't, they might come around to it further down the line, they might not, but you do whatever you can to love yourself and be safe and be happy and healthy. And that's all that should matter. Uh, this one, this one says, why are you gay? Meme video. I'm pretty sure you mean this. Why are you gay? How much do you love your girlfriend? Um, a heck ton. Is it easier to understand the same sex? Um, I'm gonna be very blunt. I'm not necessarily great with feelings at all. So it doesn't matter if I'm talking to a boy or a girl, I genuinely don't understand feelings that well. So for me, it's not easier to understand either. What? is my favorite part of being with a girl. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite thing because girls can be a lot meaner than boys. So don't know if that's a plus, but girls tend to be more understanding and more sensitive. Uh, so they're able to emotionally be more supportive than boys, just generally speaking, complete overgeneralization. And yeah, I guess that's my favorite part. And now what is the most annoying thing about being with a girl? In contrast to that, um, girls are more sensitive, but I'm also really blunt and sometimes I say stupid things. So if I say something stupid, they're going to be more offended than the average boy would. And just keep in mind, these are complete overgeneralizations. All boys are different, but also being with someone else who has a period is a good and a bad thing because they understand how it feels, but you get double of the hormones. And I don't wanna hear any girl say that, oh, I don't get hormonal when I'm on my period. Bullshit, yes you do. And boys, don't you ever dare ask if I'm mad because I'm on my period. Me having hormones and being angry on my period doesn't mean it's okay for you to ask that because nine times out of 10, I'm just angry. Just a tidbit of information for all of my men out there. Aha, uh -huh. if you could, would you rather be a boy and date a girl or stay a girl and be gay? I like being a girl, would I wanna be a boy? 
not personally. I mean, yeah, it'd be great to be able to walk out at night and not be scared, but I don't know, I enjoy being a girl. So that's all the questions that I was sent. Uh, some of them weren't appropriate. Please keep in mind that I'm still considered a child in the eyes of the law and I really don't want this video to come back and haunt me so I'm not going to be talking about the things that you little disgusting people asked about. Here's one question that I get more times than I can count. Who is the man? We are two girls. There is no man. That's the whole ass point of being a lesbian. Don't ask that. It's weird. If you've done that, don't worry. Just don't do it again. If I can say one thing, be respectful of everybody in the LGBT community. That includes trans people because trans people are killed and harassed at very alarming rates. Um, I'm actually going to put a link in the description to the Trevor Project, which is an amazing LGBT organization. If you guys want to check it out and see what you can do to be a better ally or just a better member of the community, I highly recommend doing so because education is the solution to all ignorance. Anyways, I feel like this video is really short, but I'm sorry. All my social medias are in the description box below. Go stalk me, go harass me, go follow me. Just go, please. Give me more followers on Instagram. I'm begging you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you. I'm gonna see you. Hello, this is my mic that I use. It's usually on the table, but I, I wanted to lean back for this so I have more space. If you like this video or any one of my other videos, I highly recommend you go watch this one. YouTube and I both think you'll like it the best. Also, subscribe by clicking my face somewhere around here. And don't forget to click the bell icon for a notification every time I post so you will never miss out.